Good morning. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I've come out to Slotty Beach again to take some photos. And um, yeah, we the light we thought was going to be a lot better than uh, what it is. <laughs> it's pretty overcast, grey, no colour, so pretty blah. <laughs> but anyway, what can you do? Um, we've got one more chance tomorrow, then we head back home. Uh, holidays finish, and um, we then take it from there. But yeah, let me spin you guys around. As you can see, this is the direction that the sun is going to be rising in. And um, really beautiful, yeah. So I've, my composition is pretty simple. This, this little spot here runs through the frame around like this and then out. And um, oh, there's a massive wave coming in now. Let's check. So let me show you the composition over here. That's the frame there. Let's check here quickly. Shots. I don't even know if you guys can see that. There we go. Just wait for this water to run out. And as it runs out, I just take some photos. Slightly delayed shutter. Um, also exposure. And um, yeah, really, really beautiful scene. I'm going to be going over there. Um, two days when we were here, we got that beautiful light. And I was standing up over there. See if I can stand there again. And um, see, maybe just move around here. And maybe go stand over there, maybe. Um, and just maybe walk along this ridge of rocks. And take it from there so this set of photos that i'm showing you now is from left and right from the same rock and um, i must say i'm really happy with the way the photos turned out and um, uh, it would have been nice if we had a little bit of color in the sky but i'm very happy with the way the photos turned out and this last photo looks like the map of africa which i'm really happy with so as you guys can see I am trying to, you know, all those nice cascades of water, just waiting for a nice big wave to come in, throw some water over this, and then grab like a two second, three second exposure. And um, yeah, base, basically just, just getting that nice milky effect on the waves uh, or on the water. And then, yeah, we take it from there. But hopefully we get something nice. There's been a few waves coming in, throwing some water over. And um, I got one or two shots so long. But I am waiting for a better, better wave to come in. Just so that I can um, you know, have all of this covered in water. But have that nice silky effect. But yeah, we're just waiting for that perfect wave to come in. Then we'll take the shot. I'm going to move on that way. Um, I did grab some shots this side. I didn't really take much videos. Because it's pretty much the same shots I've been taking two days ago. Uh, just obviously with different lighting condition and so on. But um, yeah, we're hoping for a bit more water than this. <laughs> and um, yeah, but I'll show you guys a shot and then we take it from there. how cool this is I'll try to grab a photo of this <laughs> um, I think my camera might get wet in the process and um, but yeah this is actually so cool I'm gonna try, try grab a shot quickly it'll probably be a vertical shot and um, yeah we'll show you guys those results now uh, so just as I thought <laughs> um, my camera and I we are wet <laughs> but um, this is really really nice um, oh, there we go 
why the big wave came through again. So, but I've got a, I think I've got a nice shot. I haven't even checked the shots yet, but um, I think my camera got wet enough. I know I did. <laughs> I'm just going to take out the towel, dry it out and everything, and then continue shooting. But um, yeah, let's let's keep looking for for some good compositions, and um, I'll catch you guys soon. Well, they say if you don't get wet doing seascape photography, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, I got drenched. Um, but um, I'm sure it was worth it. And I'll just hold my tripod here. There we go. Let me spin you guys around. Check at this beautiful scene. So I've got my camera set as high as it can go. That's basically my composition over there taking a few shots basically what you guys see here like that a little bit higher that's basically my composition so one thing that i also wanted to do uh, while i was on the trip was to get myself on the edge of a rock with a bashing wave and that's what i got here I really really love the way that this came out and um, yeah, I got wet in the process but it was really nice and then we just carried on walking on the beach uh, busy looking for different compositions and some nice photos and this is what we found next just look at this oh it's a beautiful the sun's busy coming out we got some nice clouds in the sky and uh, we were actually just packing up, we were just walking and then I told my dad, let me just look how it looks on this rock and oh man, as you can see, <laughs> it's really, it's really, really nice but this is what caught my eye over here man, this is nice so I'm just going to take a photograph over here I just set up my tripod and I'm going to grab the shot So we just carried on walking on the rocks we saw this like rock pools really really looked nice uh, so we grabbed some shots there uh, this was just before the sun sun came out um, but yeah it was actually very very nice and we found this cool crack in the in the rocks and uh, waited for the well water to come through and grab these set of photos went a little bit deeper um, on the rocks and I got these shots which I'm very happy with it was just as the Sun broke through there we go the lights got in a bit harsh um, we are basically done for this morning might go well we're gonna go home get some breakfast and then yeah we'll see what we're gonna do probably gonna end up at thompson's bay this evening um check it that out and then also tomorrow morning's our last morning that we can take some photos and then heading back on but uh yeah you guys must have a blessed day we'll chat to you guys soon again cheers cheers so this is salt rock we ended up going there about four o'clock in the afternoon if i'm not mistaken and uh, it was about two hours before sunset we didn't wait around for sunset I uh, just took some drone footage, just flying the drone up the beach and then back down, trying to follow some waves. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way the drone shots came out. I've also, I was also following some surfers that were surfing. I got nice and close to them, but I won't show them in this video. Uh, I didn't get any of their permissions to show them, so I'd rather play safe. And this is some of the drone shots that I got. How's it guys? So we're back here at the beach, um, sunrise and um, 
sunrise in about 15 minutes or so 10 minutes um, just basically shooting the same shot we shot last time um, but yeah I'm gonna see maybe we can do something a bit different maybe put myself in the in the picture and then take it from there but um, yeah it's high tide at the moment let me flip you guys around so all those rocks that we were standing at uh, they're all getting bashed by waves water's going over them quite a lot so sorry about that my mic actually died while i was shooting that um but yeah it was a little bit high tide the tide was going out but it was a bit high for us to go and stand where we were standing the previous days so we ended up just staying on the beach where we were uh, with the sea stack i had decided to put myself in the photo uh, just take some photos of that standing on the left of the sea stack and on the right of the sea stack waited for some waves to come in um, yeah just shooting a time lapse space not time lapse but interval shooting and um, waiting for the perfect wave to come in and also go out and uh, once those bubbles on the beach stop um, you know once all the water's gone in and all the bubbles escape from the sand just grabbing a shot to try and get like a mirror like image um, so yeah it was it was quite a nice morning in terms of weather um, but in terms of the sun rising as fast as it did um, it was a little bit tricky for photos but I am happy with the way the photos turned out So as you can see here, the sun is just peeking out of that a little bit of sea haze and I managed to grab some cool shots. And one thing that I love, love, love doing is, I'm gonna make a video of it in the future, is jumping shots. So I'm gonna make, my, my idea is to do jumping shots wherever I go and then make a video in the future where all those jumping shots are put together in a video and it will be called basically jumping through Africa so that's that's the idea of all the jumping shots and yeah you can see I was waiting for the perfect wave and just jumping with it as it as it hit the rocks so we got a few jump jumps in um, and this I grabbed I actually got some nice photos actually my dad took the photos with my camera and um, yeah I got that pretty cool shot I'm really happy with the way this photo came out and then I'm just going to leave you guys with rolling photos as these are some of the photos that I took uh, that I did not make videos of and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure with me it was a great holiday it was a great adventure and um, I'm looking forward to the future adventures that I can have with you guys but yeah I hope you guys have a blessed one every blessing and we'll chat again soon catch you on the next one Cheers, cheers.